Time to get your plant and garden questions answered. Linda Bart from the Bruce Company is here taking your calls at 270-9933. Hello, Linda. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm doing well. Enjoying the cool weather. Absolutely. It's fall. It's a great it time of year. All right, let's start uh, with Kathy in Madison. Hi, Kathy. What's your question? Uh, yes, good afternoon. I have uh, peonies that I cut down every year, but I was wondering if I was supposed to cut down my hostas and my daylilies as well. Well, it, I usually do. Some people don't bother, but I just, I think it's a little bit, so in the spring when the new growth comes, you don't have that residue left behind. You don't, you don't have to, but it, it looks nicer, I think. Okay. Thank you. All right, thanks for calling. Here's Gary in Madison. Hi, Gary, what's your question? Um, I have some honeysuckles next to my house that are about 10 feet tall, and I'm wondering how short I can cut them down and when. Well, if you're going to do, the, do them very severely, uh, you're going to have a real coarse look. Um, I would suggest that you actually wait until the leaves drop to do that because it's um, you have better visibility and you don't, won't be leaving big stubs. Cut it back to an, an adjoining branch. It'll look a little bit better. You could wait till early spring. Then you'd want to do it before they would leaf out. Okay. All right, let's go to Barb in Camp Douglas. Hi, Barb. What's your question? Um, I have two rose bushes, and um, they're just miniature ones, and I'm wondering if they'll come back next year or if I should cover them. Miniature roses, although they look petite, are actually quite hardy, so I'm, I would make sure that they have a nice layer of wood mulch around the root system, and then I would, okay. I, you don't have to cover them. You don't, okay. Yeah, they're Thank short, you. so they'll probably be protected by the snow. All right, thanks for the call. Here's Bob in Ridgeway. Hi, Bob. What's your question? Yes. If a fruit tree dry, dies when it's young and you get like a young bushes coming up on the bottom, is that another plant starting or is that junk? Well, that trees are generally um, grafted onto a, a bigger root system. So it's not going to be the, the apple tree that you, that you planted. It's going to be um, probably a very large apple tree with very large fruit. So it's not, it's not the, the same variety. Okay. Tom in Brooklyn. Hi, Tom. What's your question? Yeah, I'd like to know how long you, in the year you can plant uh, grass seed before to, to grow grass. Well, that, you, you can start, you can still plant it now. September is a really good time. I usually like end of August, ideally. And we still have the warmer soil and the germ the germination occurs a little bit faster you get nice rains you in october you start to get into a funny time of the year because if it germinates and then we have a real hard freeze those little seedlings can be damaged so you sometimes you can do dormant seeding after um it's actually quite cold out and it's going to have a slope and you don't get runoff it works but you're taking it yeah it's getting a little late for that yeah all right marianne from barnaville hi marianne what's your question is it too soon, Linda, to cut back my clematis? Well, I'm not. I usually don't cut my clematis back until spring, because then I. Oh really? I it, yes, but what what kind do you have? You know, there are lots of different. Well, kinds it said of clematis. deep purple, but I don't know other than that. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. It, if I would, if you if you don't have a problem, if it's unsightly, then of course cut it back. But um, I usually wait till, till spring to see what how much of it is live, and then prune everything off that's not starting to show life. Okay. okay thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for calling. Let's go to Wilma now in Dodgeville. Hi, Wilma. What's your question? About raspberries. When can should I transplant them now, or wait until spring? You can do it either way. I I usually think that fall is a little bit easier because sometimes spring can be really wet, and then it's hard to get out there. You don't want to be compacting everything. So I mean, you'll see raspberries for sale. And so it, this is a fine time of year to dig and, and move some of those primal canes. All right. Everybody's getting anxious to cut everything down. Yes. <laughs> it, must, it must be fall. <laughs> All right, Linda, thank you for your time. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone, for calling in. We'll yep. okay. do this again next Monday. And